Hey friends, welcome to Easy Paintings by Ishita where I upload 4 tutorials a week. So welcome to painting class number 11 which is for the age group of 5 to 10 years old. So today we have a lovely painting for them which is the underwater sea world painting. So this is a very bright colorful painting and I'm sure the kids will love it. So I will teach you how to make an angel fish, drawing plus painting, along with a cling fish. We will be drawing this, also coloring it, and we will learn how to make a clown fish. So without waiting, let's check out what we did last week, which was a dinosaur painting. And if you haven't checked it already, you can go back and check it out the playlist. And let's see the submissions. So our first submission is from Sarthak. Sarthak, you have done a great job. Our next painting submission is from Sneha. And Sneha, I love your baby dinosaur. So cute. And our third submission is from Ishani. And she has also directed a cute video inspired by the movie Jurassic Park. So let's check it. So wasn't that creative and lovely? Thank you so much Ishani and Mama to send us this cute video. And our fourth submission is from Tanya. She has attempted the goldfish tutorial that I have done for the elders. You can check out the video or the i button on the top. So thank you so much kids. You guys are doing so good and I'm so proud of you all. Thank you so much for making this tutorial a success. And this is what we did the last week for the dinosaur. Do check it out kids if you have missed it. And let's begin our today's beautiful underwater sea tutorial. Hey kids, welcome back to today's class. So today we will be doing a very beautiful underwater scenery in which we will be making a lot of beautiful colorful corals. Corals are the underwater sea plants. So we will make those along with a couple of different types of fishes that I will teach you in the easiest way possible. Okay, so to begin, let's quickly grab your drawing book, your pencil and you would need a eraser. So the first part would be the drawing part and the second part would be the painting part. So let's get started. So as you know this is our 10th class. So by now you are aware that we start a class with making the shapes. We practice the shapes first. So I would, I would like you to make a line on the very top of your page and let's quickly practice few shapes. So let's make a circle, let's make a triangle, a square, a rectangle, a teardrop, an oval, What else? I think this is all that we need today for our drawing class. Okay, so now in the page I would like you to make four boxes. So make four squares. Make a center line and 
and two lines so now we have one two three four so this is the first the second the third and the fourth one two three four four boxes okay on the very first box let's begin making a fish so the first fish we will make is the clown fish have you watched the movie Nemo finding Nemo if you haven't you can go ahead and watch that that's a very beautiful movie and there the main character is the clownfish this is basically a fish with stripes and it is very bright orange color it's very pretty so let's learn to make a clown fish clownfish okay so for that we would need the shape oval okay for that let's with a very gentle hand let's make a curve another curve at the bottom so I haven't connected these two parts okay so once you are done with this just go ahead and connect the front like that it doesn't have to be very sharp not very pointy okay it has to be more like a curve and here just go like that two lines and waves Did you get it this is the oval two lines the waves and connect the front now let's make the eyes this is the eyes and clownfish has thick beautiful stripes so this is the first stripe this is the second stripe this is the third stripe and the tail fourth stripe okay and now let's quickly make so once we color it you will understand the difference between the stripes and now let's make the fin and a bottom fin like a W or you can make the same one like this okay so our clownfish is now ready let me quickly color this and show you how this will exactly look I've grabbed my orange color so the first front part of the mouth will begin with orange if you have your crayons you can do this part with your crayons or any color whatever you have all right so our front part is done we will leave the stripes white we will do the second part very carefully second part we will leave the stripe white we will do the body orange Again, we will leave the stripe white. We will do this part orange. Again, the end of the tail will be orange by leaving the stripes. And now we will also do the fins orange. And the bottoms 
this in orange now let me quickly outline this fish with entirely orange it became so beautiful now let's make the eyes black color okay this is the eye and let me also do the stripes borders black all right our beautiful clownfish is now ready All right, so this is the clownfish we made, okay? Now, let's move on to the next fish. And let's make an, okay, here. Let's make an angel fish, okay? This is a, this is my daughter's favorite fish, angel fish. And this fish is basically triangle in shape. Like it looks like a triangle and it's very pretty. Let's go ahead. So for that, I would first like you to make a line, straight line. And now let's make a side triangle. So here like that, here like that, okay? So the triangle is done. Now again, we will do the same process, a little one, a straight line. again a triangle to the middle of the line triangle like that it looks like a fallen mushroom now okay so angel fish is like that once you do the outlining let's shape it so just extend this line and connect this line like that again extend this line and connect this line so now it looks like a wing and over here to extend this line, connect this line, extend this line, connect this line. Now let's erase this partition. Now, do you see how this looks? Let's make a little wavy, like a natural body position. All right. So a little curvy body as if it's swimming. of a triangle our angel fish is now done so now let me show you what color is the angel fish so let's make the eyes and the angel fish also have stripes so let's make a stripe like that thin stripes make one more stripe like that let's make one more stripe like this all from the tail and our angel fish is now ready now the angel fish is basically yellowish orange with black so I have grabbed my yellow color, my orange color, and my black color. 
so let's start quickly shading it so I'm using orange I'm just doing it half part the top part make sure you leave the stripes in the center okay the bottom part let's do the tail also so the bottom part yellow top part orange so kids we have to learn how to shade it and mix the colors so mixing the colors so what is the difference between a Nemo and an angelfish Nemo has the stripes white angelfish has the stripes black so let's do this black fish is now ready see how pretty it looks so this is the eye let me just outline the fish So our angel fish is now done. So we made a clown fish and an angel fish. A N G E L fish. Angel fish. Now let's make a yellow fish right now, okay? So our fourth fish is not fourth but the third fish will be the cling fish okay so today kids we will not be doing four fish just three fish because otherwise we won't be able to complete the painting in one hour so let me just erase this part so one two and here we will make the third fish for that we will use the rectangle shape for this, okay? So let's make a rectangle. Let me do one thing. Let me just hold the book this side. So let's make a rectangle. And this is the cling fish okay so I'll tell you the speciality of this fish so we have done like this which is a rectangle now do a pointy face like that in the front and now do a long line okay this is just the outlining and do like that go straight do like that again like this same it's like a plane and now a triangle
triangle at the end for the tail. Now we will start to shape it. So this is like that with a eye. We will delete the line here. We are making a fish, not a box, right? And we will also be deleting this line. this line so let's quickly outline so its mouth has a long nose little wave as if it's swimming so this is the shape of our Fish. I hope this is not difficult. So a rectangle, a triangle in the front, a long nose and a triangle at the back and a wing type in the top and at the bottom. Simple. So this clingfish has a stripe through the eyes. One, two. This is the first stripe. Now, this is the second stripe. They have three thin stripes. This is the third stripe. This is the fourth stripe. And this is the fifth stripe. This is the sixth stripe. So now let's start to color. So clingfish is normally blue and yellow in color and it does have a big spot, black spot on the top near the end of the fin. So let's quickly grab our yellow color and blue color and black color. Okay, so let's quickly start to color this part. Sorry. So yeah, with the blue we will begin. So, so the stripes will be yellow, the rest of the body will be blue. So I'm starting with the blue first. blue, yellow stripes, blue, yellow stripes, Yellow stripes, blue again. So kids, I have made three different fishies for you. If you find it difficult, just make two and you can start with the painting part, okay? I do take classes for older kids also right from the age of 5 to 10 so if I do very simple drawings the kids who are 8 years 9 years old will find it very easy so I'm making this painting which will be very good for 
the younger kids of five six and seven also for a bit older kids who are eight nine and ten okay so let's do this our blue part is almost ready leave the spot for the black do the stripes again which is the yellow and the last part also yellow center part blue all right so our cling fish is ready now let's outline the eye and the spot black and let's outline the fish this is the mouth going up, going up, shaping it down, little waves curvy because the tail swims like a curve, again down, again a little curve and let's connect the mouth. And let's also do the stripes outlining black 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 and kids you all have requested a lot of times for a 3d butterfly painting so I have already recorded and I will upload the 3D butterfly painting shortly. So do check out my channel for that and do give it a try. It's so much fun to make the 3D butterfly as if it looks real. Okay. So today our three part drawing class is done. So we have the clownfish, the angelfish and the cling fish and now let's take a big break and we will be back with our watercolors and our drawing paper and our pencil eraser for the next part of the class which is the painting session bye bye break time kids have some refreshments and come back soon bye bye Kids, welcome back to the drawing or the painting part second part so our final drawing book is ready pencil eraser and let's quickly make the drawing on this page and let's start coloring okay so if this is the page I would like you to divide the page into four to five parts okay so Suppose here we will have one fish, here we will have another fish, here we will have another fish, and here we will have one more fish. Okay, four parts. One, two, three, four. And now let's quickly start making the easiest fish, which is the clownfish. Okay, so on this side, let us start with clownfish's oval. With very gentle hand so that you can erase this off okay we do not want any marks so this is the angel fish this is the tail this is the fish head this is the eyes not angel fish clown fish I'm sorry this is the stripes this is the stripe this is the stripe one more stripe and the fins and one more fin so our clownfish is ready this is the let's let's make it as a mama clownfish let's make a little baby here the bottom part so the baby has to be small so let's do like that 
one more let's connect the head let's make the tail let's make the eyes the stripes and the fins so mama and baby these are two fishes let's make a Mm, maybe an angel fish on the very top okay here so let's make a triangle one more triangle let's shape it Let's erase the center part. Kids do it with very gentle hands. We need to erase this later, okay? We do not want any lines. And let's shape this. Now let's make an eye. First stripe, second stripe, third stripe, fourth, fifth. So my angel fish is now ready. And now let's make the fourth fish here, fourth point. So this is gonna be the cling fish. So I made a, okay, this is coming down, going here, here let it point down so I made a rectangle box I made a triangle with the same body triangle on the top I made a line and now I am making the wings the tail the tail is like a triangle okay now let me just shape it like that just deleting the inside lines All right, so the shape is done for the fishy. Let's complete it. So this is the eye and the stripes will be from the eye. Let's make a few more stripes. So basically today we did all the fishes with stripes, isn't it? Did you notice that? Alright, so our clown fish is now ready. So in the ocean we have one, two, three, four, four fishes. Now let's start making some corals, okay? So let's start with a center coral. Make a big line till the bottom and now let's make a teardrop here 
one. Now just make few lines like that. And let's make the teardrop again. So this leaf will stop where the face begins because this is going behind this fish. Okay. Now let's make few tall leaves so so let's do like that go from down till up in front of our clownfish go down like that so that means our clownfish body will not be visible because the leaf is in front. And here the Nemo, the baby Nemo or the baby clownfish is in the front. Okay, we'll color it, you'll get to know. Make one more. little wavy 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 so again the clownfish body will be hidden behind the leaf let's make few more no I think this two is fine let's make some here so here there is one that is going in front of the fish. So the fish body will be hidden behind the leaf. And there's one or there are a few others that's going from behind the leaf so the fish body will be visible in the front okay so these are the few leaf that we are doing and we will do rest as we go with colors directly so now let's start coloring we, let's grab our supplies so I have the paper towel ready my color box is ready my water is ready and let's begin but I think I should change the setup of the camera so that you see the full page so let me do that all right, so the first thing we will do is we will paint the background blue, which is the ocean scene. So let's take your thick brush, dip it in water and pick up some blue. We don't want the background to be very dark, but we will do good dark, okay? So, so all our fishes will be colored. Our Nemo white stripe should not have blue on it rest we can do the entire part okay entire part blue so let's start you can go on top of the fishes because later we will color the fishes dark and the blue will not be visible anymore but don't go over your Nemo or the clownfish over the clownfish mm 
try not to go A little if it goes that's absolutely fine okay so kids why are we doing the entire thing blue because it's the ocean and the blue that we are doing is very light in color so whatever color we put on top of it that will still show but if we choose a background which is very dark then we have to take care that we don't we don't go over the characters which is the the fishes because then the fishes color will not be visible all right so my blue is done with a lot of water let me also mix in some more other uh, other blue also to make a good shading of blue So I'm mixing two different blues. You can do it, you can skip it. Not needed. All right. So let it just dry and then we will move towards our next characters okay so put the brush to clean now let's begin our painting with okay let it dry it's almost dry Let's start with our Nemo first, okay? So, so take your little brush, wet it and pick up some orange. orange is ready let's start doing the face of the Nemo make sure you stay inside the lines take good amount of colors kids because we need this to be dark see the leaf starts here I will not go over the leaf Again, there is another leaf. I will not go over the leaf. I can't even figure out the tail. Oh, here it is. Oh, I went over the leaf let me just erase it I've put in some water because green is a light color if orange goes over green the line can be seen let's do one thing kids let's do the green grass first you will understand what am I talking about so choose a green Let's start making it. Let's take a thick brush like this. Okay. 
wet it dip it in green and let's make the leaf Let's make it a little dark. So now after coloring you would understand that the Nemo is behind the leaf, not in the front. Let's do the other leaf now. Just make sure you don't go over this Nemo because this Nemo is in front of the leaf. So entire clownfish should be visible all right see one is behind one is in the front so let it dry let's make the other leaf as well so this leaf Like that and like this. And one more leaf which is right here. So the angelfish body is coming in the front, okay? All right, so our tall grasses are now done. Now let's quickly make the other fishes color so let's complete the Nemo first we left it halfway so I have two palettes this other palette orange is really nice I'm taking it from here so let's complete the Nemo's fin and the body fin so kids take your time to color it okay you shouldn't be in hurry to do it I am I have a lot of practice so I do it quickly that doesn't mean you will also do it this quick okay take your time do it nicely and prettily and then complete it so I'm making the baby Nemo's face now I'm going over her eyes because with black marker I will then do the eyes I'm just shaping the body I'm leaving the stripes white and I'm completing the rest with orange okay so our baby Nemo is done now let's move towards the angelfish the angelfish is orangish yellow with black so let's do it with orange
and not make it very dark orange 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 now let me take some yellow i should have cleaned my brush okay yellow taken completed with yellow the stripes done now with the help of black clean up your brush pick up the black and kids if you do not have a thin brush you can just use your crayons okay but don't use a thick brush otherwise it will not look good and we don't want that okay so with black let's start drawing the stripes i'm doing it from here because this is still wet i don't want to go over the wet otherwise the black will mix with the orange so this is done The black strap is done, one of them. Let me do the other one. Ocean is so beautiful. We have so many colorful fishes. I have been inside an ocean. I have seen these fishes by my own eyes. It is such a wonderful sight. Ocean is such a beautiful place. So many colors together. It's so, so, so beautiful. All right, so the angel fish is almost done I'm waiting for it to dry up and then we'll complete the rest let's move on to our next fish which is the cling fish with yellow and blue stripes so let us first color the stripes um, let's select the blue let me select this blue let me just color the stripes first you can either do this yellow and rest of the body uh, blue or you can do the stripes blue and rest of the body yellow so I'm doing the stripes blue and rest of the body yellow why am I doing that because our ocean color is blue right I don't want a lot of blue to mix with ocean color blue. So just the little stripes of blue with the rest of the body yellow. Clean up the brush. Kids, my water has gone bad. So whenever your water turns black, change it with one more water. fresh water okay all right so choose your yellow and start making the yellow color my yellow has gone dirty I'm just cleaning this off with some water Cleaning my brush thoroughly. 
and then mixing again to get a good mix of yellow. All right, let's do this. My yellow is still light. Let me just mix in with another color. Just give me a second, kids. You guys can carry on. So I'm just taking my acrylic yellow color. So complete the yellow color on the body. And our fishes will be ready. All right, so the yellow color is now done. Let me just do the beak yellow. Oh, angelfish has a, not angel, I'm sorry, clingfish has a black spot at the back. We have to also do that part, I forgot. So I've taken a little of black. Let's do a little round. So this is the clean fish. So guys, all the fishes are done. Let's now quickly do the seaweed. Let me do this purple. So I'm mixing some purple. And let's do this. So this is the coral, bright corals. It can be any color because corals are very bright and in all colors. So I chose a purple. You can choose any color you want. So now this leaf is behind the face. This is in front. So my one of the seaweed is ready um, I'm thinking let's do one more directly with color um, let me choose red I'm thinking what to do maybe a line align with with few arms coming out this is one Let's do another small one, the same kind. One more. Let's do one more kind. I'm just thinking what color. Something bright. Uh, let me do a dark green color. Okay. 
now let me do let me do a a long line this will look a little different now let me do a u with few handles which is one two three four sea beads can be any design any shape this is one let me do a yellow one as i have yellow i'm just filling it up the space i've taken the yellow so let me do one, two, three, four, five. Let me do a few more. One, two, three, four, five. It's not very visible. Let me make the purple one again. Mixing it with colors. So my seaweeds are all done. Let me make one more last. Okay, so this is all done. Now the last part comes is the let me just move all the color boxes and quickly grab your black pen or a marker and start to outline. So I have my black pen ready. Let it dry. I will start with the angel fish first. Here is the eyes. We are only outlining. I'm just waiting for this to dry up. Let's turn it and let's do it. I'm just filling up as there are a few gaps. Okay. Okay, so my angel fish is now ready. Let me now do the Nemo fish outlining. Let's do the stripe.
Now let's do the eyes and the mouth. Let's do the mouth. Okay. Now let's do the same for the baby. Alright, so the baby Nemo is done. Let's do the last one, which is our clingfish. My things are still not dry, I'm just waiting, otherwise it will spread. Let me start with the tail. So kids, do this part very slowly, okay? Oh, see, I did a mistake. This leaf was supposed to go in front, not from the back, and I did a mistake here. Here I will not go over the leaf. Let's make the eyes and the stripes. If you do this in a hurry, you will always do a mistake of the leaf, which I did. I will see how I can correct it. Okay. So the angel fish, uh, the cling fish is now done. Let me also make the tall grasses outlining. Just the tall ones. Just this one's because it is coming in front of the fishes. So just this one. Do this part very lightly kids, okay? Very gently. Do not rush. Otherwise, the entire painting will be waste if it goes not right. All right, so our painting is now ready. Uh, let's sign this. And we are good to go. Oh, let's make the mouth till here. Let's make the eyes. Just keep a check if everything looks okay to you. This part, this part needs to be corrected. Let me just correct it. Just putting some color on top of it. Okay. So this looks good to me. Let me just remove this. Our painting for today is now done. So kids, I hope this was not very hard for you. We learned so many kinds of fishes. I hope you liked today's class. Do let me know under the comments if you enjoyed this class. And let me know where are you looking at this painting from, which country. And 
do let me know if you have any other suggestions or any other painting that you would like me to make with the help of shapes so that I can make it as per your choice all right so thank you so much for joining me and see you next week bye bye so kids do not forget to like this video and do tell your friends about it and have them also do it so do comment below share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel easy paintings by ishita have a lovely day guys bye bye